All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So recently, there's been a lot of, I don't wanna say anger, but more so disappointment in the Dokkan community, mostly related to this year's Saiyan Day celebration and the fact that we did not get a single new Extreme Z Awakening throughout this entire campaign. Whereas last year, we actually got two new EZAs, the Fizz Trunks, and the tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, right? And a lot of people out there, myself included, thought that if anybody was gonna get an EZA this year, it should have been this dude right here, the tech masked Saiyan, because for some reason, he seems to be somewhat featured in this campaign, which does make a lot of sense to me because I thought it was supposed to be a Bardock-focused celebration, and this dude is clearly not Bardock. I mean, he says it himself every single time he supers, but you know what? That's besides the point. He's been out for a very long time. I did really want him to get that easy A, and I'm super disappointed it didn't happen. But what I'm curious about right now is whether or not he's still a good unit, even without that easy A. So in today's video, we're gonna answer that question by doing a quick rainbow 100% showcase. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And uh, as you can see, we got a pure Saiyans team here. He's in only three categories, pure Saiyans, uh, time travelers, and for some reason, Goku's family, which doesn't make a ton of sense to me because he obviously is not related to Goku. As I said, he's not Bardock, and I don't really know where else he would fall into the Sun family lineage. So that's kind of weird. But you know what? That's Bandai's decision. They do a lot of weird things with their categories. So I'm not going to ask too many questions. Let's just uh, watch the showcase and see how good this uh, not Bardock Mass Saiyan actually is. All right, here we go. Here we go. So we have a support on rotation and we're getting not bad, actually. 1.36 million attack. 1.36, we get a crit. No crit, okay, but we get an additional, another 1.36 mil, so about 2.7 mil in total there. And every single super lowers the enemy's attack and defense, making them a little bit weaker with every attack. So uh, not bad, man. Almost finished off. Almost finished off the base Goku on that first rotation. So in total, 2.7 mil attack there. So it's starting to look like even without that easy A, um, this Mass Saiyan can still do some good things, man. He can still do pretty well. Now, we are on a Pure Saiyan's 150% team, so if I had brought like a 170% team, then his damage would have been even higher, right? Now, the reason I didn't do that is because on the Goku's Family team or Time Traveler's team, he doesn't seem to have a lot of great linking partners. So as far as like links go and supports go, the Pure Saiyan's team is a better team for him at the moment. And uh, now we have dual supports, so this rotation should be even better than the last one. Remember, last time we got two supers, 1.36 mil each. This time, we're going to let the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta super first. So we, a, an additional 30% attack right there. And then we're going to let Mass Saiyan super, 1.62 mil. Yo, that's pretty impressive for a unit that is, I think, over two years old at this point. I think he's over two years old. Okay, this might hurt. 37, whoa, 37K. Um, I know it's just the Super Saiyan Goku, like Super Saiyan 1 Goku, so we're not too far into the event yet, but we only took that Super for 37K, so defensively not holding up too bad either. Not too bad defensively either. Okay, so the last thing we can see, I guess, here is... Um, I mean, was that his max attack on this team? I think that might be. It might be, because he doesn't stack attack, and uh, we already had a 40% support and a 30% support in the Vegeta, plus the extra 30% with the super. So even, even if we had like um, two 40% like supports on rotation, we still wouldn't be getting more attack right than that turn. So 1.6 mil might be his max on this team. Um, which, like I said, is actually quite impressive for a unit as old as he is, man. And uh, as you guys saw, defensively, he held up um, pretty well against that super. Now, what I hate about this Turles is that he just randomly transforms. It's super annoying because nobody wants to use him in his transform state, man. We only bring him to support. And every once in a while, he just decides to eat a fruit and stop being a support. 
Um, super, super annoying, so that kind of sucks. Uh, he will go back to the regular Turles soon, but unfortunately this turn, just one support because Turles is being a dick. That's okay though. Let's see uh, what the single Vegeta support can get us. Alright, so Vegeta himself, about 1.1 mil. Pretty good actually, for like a mainly support unit. Um, let's see what Mass Saiyan does here. Okay, so a little bit higher I think than the first rotation, but not too much higher. 1.37-ish this time. And okay, let's see what this super does. Oh, oh, okay, 158k, yeah, alright. Not quite as good as the as the super from last turn. Um, wait, was is the Super Saiyan 1 Goku AGL? That might explain it actually. That might explain it. Because we had type advantage that time, right? I think. I think I, I keep forget like I've run this event a million times and I keep forgetting the types for each of the stages. Like it, it's kind of it's kinda of sad. Alright. Um yeah, we can leave it like this, doesn't really matter too much. But so far, as you guys can see, Mad Mass Saiyan, I'm honestly pretty impressed with what he can still do on a 150% team nonetheless. As I said, uh, I think this Pure Saiyan's team actually makes a lot more sense for him at the moment because on Goku's family, um, he doesn't have a ton of good linking partners. And on this team, his best linking partner is, uh, I believe, the AGL Turles, but also the uh, Broly and Paragus is a really good partner for him as well. So if you want to kind of feature him on the team, then bring either of those guys make a lot of sense. And of course, those guys are not on either Time Travelers or Goku's family. Um, I'm just waiting for a 170% Pure Saiyans lead. That's going to be crazy. Uh, who do you guys think that's going to be? Let me know in the comments down below right now. Who do you think the first 170% attack lead for Pure Saiyans will be? Um, it's got to be like a Goku, right? It has to be a Goku. Like the only character that would make sense for that job would be some kind of Goku. I'm gonna say the next UI Goku we get, whether it's just a regular you know, UI Goku or MUI Goku, whatever it is, LR MUI Goku, uh, is gonna be the 170% pure Saiyans lead. Even though it would maybe make more sense for him to be a kind of a Realm of Gods lead instead. Or maybe it'll be pure Saiyans and something else. Oh, that'd be crazy, man. Yo, imagine he's a new category leader. Oh, crap. Well, we did not get to see Mass Saiyan that turn. That's okay. Um, what was I talking about again? <laughs> oh, yeah. So what if what if the next MUI Goku is like a pure Saiyans and also new category lead? And it's 170% pure Saiyans and then, you know, 150% something else? That would be insane, man. If you, com if you com combine... Pure Saiyans, which is already one of the biggest categories in the entire game. I'm just going to skip this turn um, with a Ghost Usher because I don't want to die, potentially. So you do that, combine that big category with another new category. I can't imagine how insanely busted that team would be. So that means most likely it's not going to happen. And if, he, if he's just a 170% Pure Saiyans lead, I'd be okay, okay with that. I'd be 100% okay with that. I'm going to say that that's going to happen. And it's going to happen for Goku Day this year, which is happening in the beginning of May, May 9th specifically. So that's my prediction. All right, I have no basis, no grounds for this prediction. Um, I just want it to happen. All right, so keep that in mind, guys. Don't forget, if it happens for Saiyan Day, then remember, your boy Goku, your boy Goku, your boy Tiger <laughs> called it first. Yo, I wish I was Goku. Okay, so on this rotation, currently... He has 82,172 defense, which is actually pretty good. Pretty good, considering he has a flat boost for both attack and defense. 80, 82,000, um, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Okay, let's see how much damage we can get out of him now. We might actually be able to kill the Goku with Vegeta and Mass Saiyan. Let's see. All right, 1.3 mil for Vegeta. If we're gonna get additional too, that'd be nice. Ah, no additional. Damn. Yo, a double super with uh, two times the attack boost would have been really nice. All right, 1.62 mil. So yeah, that's about his max, his limit on this team, which is okay to me, man. That that that's okay to me. All right. So no additional there. And Paragus and Broly getting 1.5 mil too. Damn. Damn. Okay. And they're doing additional. Okay. So I think that's pretty much going to do it for today's showcase, guys. I am actually going to 
try and Hmm, actually I don't know if I don't know if that's possible. I was gonna say I'm gonna try and uh, save that token attack for Mass Saiyan, but uh, we're gonna have to use it here because Vegeta just changed all these orbs, so let's do it I guess. Oh actually we can link these Vegetas, right? Yes we can, perfect. Okay, so at least we'll see something nice from Vegeta here. Um, let's get all these orbs for sure. Okay, let's go, let's go. Focus, Tiger. Focus. Let's go. Two. One. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Nice. All right, let's see what this attack is. 4.4 mil. Okay, so Goku's definitely dead. It's going to be a little bit overkill. <laughs> but, you know, it happens. It happens. I think next turn we should be getting a turnless on rotation. And we'll do that rotation. Oh, 7.1 mil crit. Crazy. Okay, so we'll do this rotation, and then we're going to call it a showcase, because there's really not much else to see here. But uh, I think we fulfilled what we needed to, or what we came here to see. Like, we fulfilled our mission, because literally the only reason I wanted to make this video was to see how good Mass Sin still was without the EZA by today's standards, because he's such an old unit, right? Like, he's been... He came out with literally the tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the 120% Super Tech lead. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think he still, he, he still can hold his own. He can still hold his own, for sure. And there it is, we are probably gonna die to the super, if not very close. Yeah, 260k, yeah, okay, okay. So defensively, still quite a bit to be desired. Um, we didn't die there, we still survived that, that onslaught, but there we go. Yeah, Turles could not. <laughs> <laughs> cannot tank those attacks so there it is guys that is today's video that is today's showcase i can confirm for you officially that matt saiyan without an easy a still a good unit still a solid unit is he um you know is he good enough to earn a spot on most people's pure saiyans teams or goku's family's teams no because those are two very very good categories uh, with a lot of really op units so if you have you know a lot of units in those categories you're probably not gonna run him, but that being said, he's still a good option for maybe some players who don't have as many units in those categories. If you need to build a pure Saiyans team, you don't have a lot of pure Saiyans, or you wanna build a time travelers, or uh, what else is he in? Um, time travelers, or Goku's family team, <laughs> then he's not a bad option to slot in there. Um, the easy A, would definitely make a huge difference, that's for sure. I can only imagine like how much damage he would be outputting uh, if he got a percentage boost of even like, I don't know, like 80%, 100%, because actually he gets a really good flat boost, right? 50,000 and 20,000 defense, which is, which explains why his attack is still pretty high, even with a flat boost, because it's a very high flat boost. But that being said, let's say he gets, um, you know, 100% attack. Would that be too OP actually? I don't, I don't even know. Okay, I can't do the calculations in my mind right now, but he gets a percentage boost of attack and defense. Let's say they take away the restriction from the second part of his passive where it's just, you know, a boost regardless. And uh, let's say he greatly lowers attack and defense for the enemy and maybe even increases attack for one turn or three turns, something like that. Uh, this dude could, this could, could be doing like 2.53 million damage easy with an EZA, and of course, you're not accounting for his stats, so even before the EZA, about 15,000 attack, which is really good. Let's say that bumps up to like 17k or something like that. Uh, he could be pretty wild. So even though we did not get that EZA for this Saiyan day, I think eventually we will get that masked Saiyan Extreme Z Awakening, and when that happens, he's gonna be really, really freaking solid. And even without the EZA, still, not a bad unit. So that's today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.